Hey guys, so and welcome to project 69 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating a decimal to binary converter by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So now let's suppose if I type like 10 right here and if I click on this check, so here you can see it no longer uses the binary version of it. And if I just change this one to like 2 and if I click on the check, so it no longer uses the binary version. And now let's suppose if I just provide 100 for some case and if I check, so here you can see it no longer uses the binary version right here. Okay, so this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right to our quarter and write our code. So to do that, first of all, let me just create a folder, give a name of like 069 and then let me give a name of like decimal to binary converter. All right, so inside there, let me just create three files. The first one will be index.html. The second one will be just style.css. And now the third one will be just app.js for JavaScript. Now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code. So let me just write a doc type HTML. And now let me just change the title to like decimal to um binary converter all right so now let's just link it with or css and also with or javascript okay so now let me just hide this metadata from there right click on it and open it with the live server so now everything is working that we expect him to work all right so now let me just create a section with a class of container inside this section we are going to be writing our input with a type of number and also let me just give a name of like number number and also let me give id of number okay so now the next input we would have is a button which will allow us to just submit so i want to just write like value will be just check and uh lowercase um no uppercase would do the thing plus will be just result and then button okay so that's that now the final thing which you have to do is underneath this section we are going to be creating a new section with a class of results results and container okay so once we save it and this is how it looks like right now now let's jump right into a css and now let's just style that a bit we're not going to be writing a lot of css but we are going to write some of them like padding will be zero margin will be zero and then box sizing will be border box okay so now let me just get my body and inside this body we are going to be writing a display of legs and justify content will be space around save it and this is how it looks like and now the next thing which i'm going to do is that i'm going to just select my container which is that container let me just show you which is this container so now let me get there inside there we're going to be writing a width of 50 percent and background will be just crimson and you can choose whichever kind of background you like display will be totally flex justify kind will be center align items will be center because we want everything to be perfectly center all right so that's this container and so now let's just get our results container and now let's just style that a bit so i'm going to just write like a uh, results container and then we are going to be providing a height of 100 percent and the width will be like 50 percent will be fine this play will be totally flex because we want everything to be perfectly centered so that's why we are just adding um flex direction and flex box so let me just write a flex direction of colon and align items will be also centered save it and here you can see like everything is now center and everything is working the way we expect him to work all right so now let's just tile this input button i mean like input box to be precise and now let me just get my container inside this container we have this input padding will be 10 pixel top and bottom left and right will be 20 margin left will be just 10 pixels save it and this is how it looks like right now and now the next thing which you have to do is to just tile or button right here like a result button so then we are going to be first of all selecting the container and then our result button so border let's just remove it we don't like our border currently so now let's just provide a little bit of border radius of five pixel and then padding will be like oh come on padding will be just like 12 pixel and 20 pixel 12 pixel for top and bottom and 20 pixel for left and right cursor will be pointer and all right so if you want to remove that outline let me just remove that outline as well Okay, so we still have that online. <laughs> we are selecting there instead of input. And now let's just remove it. All right, so now we are good to go. So now the next thing which I'm going to do is that I'm going to jump right to my JavaScript and then just pour a little bit of interactivity to it. So first of all, we are going to be getting our result. And it will be now equals to document.query selector of that button, which is that result and then button. 
Now let me just log that to a console really quickly so that we can just don't mess up. All right, so we have this button right here. Everything is working the way we expect him to work. All right, so now the next thing which you have to do is to attach an event listener on that button. So now let me just get that and event listener of click once we click on it. So you want to provide this function, which will be decimal. Okay, so now let me just create this function really quickly like decimal. And inside this function, we are going to be getting first of all our decimal. And it will be like equals to document dot get element by ID of number. And now let's just get our value from it. Value. Okay, so that's there. And now let me just write like uh, let temp decimal. Okay, so now the first thing we would get is like rem will be zero and let binary will be also set to zero. Okay, and now let's just write let place will be equals to uh, one right now. So now let's just add our temp decimal variable to this decimal variable and now let's just iterate or through our temp decimal so now let me just write like while loop in here and it will be now equals to like temp decimal greater than zero so we want to provide a rem value to be like a temp binary a temp decimal and then this modulus operator and then two okay so it will be like decimal times uh, mod two and then just provide our binary it will be now set to binary plus and then or rem and then times place okay this variable right here okay so that's that and then we are going to be just writing our temp variable 10 decimal variable it will be now equals to parts end and now let's just provide our temp decimal and, and divide by two okay and now let's just write our plans and it will be now equals to plans times 10 Okay, so we are done with our while loops. So now the next thing which you have to do is to create our h1. So now I'm gonna just write h1 of document.create element. And now here we are going to be placing our h1 and then h1.inner html will be now equals to this um, binary right here. And finally, now let's just uh, get our container. So now let me just write const container. It will be now equals to document.query selector of this like results and then container okay and now let's just append come on or con let's just get our container and now let's just append or h1 which we just created right here so once we save it all right so if i just write like 12 in here and if i check it so it will give us like one one and zero zero and if i just pour like uh i don't know 20 maybe and if i just hit check it will now give us like one zero and one zero zero to check if the result is true or not so for that we have this um a website right here so if you go to this website it will also allow us to check the decimal to binary so let's suppose if we just provide that 12 which we provide right here first of all so it gives us the result of like 11 and 00, 0 and then we provide um 20 it, and it gives us like 10 and 100 so first of all let's just provide like 12 and if i just click on convert it will now give us like 11 and 0, 0 and which is true and now let's just provide or 20 and if I hit convert, it will now give us like 10 and 100 right here, okay? And if I just pour like, um, I don't know, like 100. And if I just check, first of all, it gives us like two ones, then two zeros, then one, and then two zeros. So now let me just check there. If I provide 100 uh, right here, and if I just click on this convert, it will now give us like two ones, two zeros, and one and two zeros so everything is working the way we expect him to work so if you want to attach more styling on there so you can also provide more styling on there if you want to uh like here we have this h1 so now let me just provide like um i don't know h1 dot style dot border and will be now equals to uh like two pixels solid black so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is to get our style and then just provide a little bit of padding to it so like 10 pixels would be fine and then h1.margin.style.margin and it will be now equals to just five pixels so once we save it and if you just write like 12 and check it so it will be gives us this kind of pale shape and if i just check two or like um i don't know maybe a thousand and if i just check it it will give us these huge values right here if you want to you can port these style if you don't so i'm gonna comment it for you so you will still have access to them all right so now we are totally done with our project and i think that was it about drawings video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye